All, all righty then. I am Papa All One, and we are continuing with part two of the Combatants Championship for the second match. This is part two of the second match. I think I'm gonna start calling the title matches title shots. You know. Or something else because I say title match, then this is the second match of the title match, and you know, so or championship is called championship. No, I'll probably say title shot. Uh, I don't know, but anyway, let's get started. We're on the third bout for this particular match, and Let's see. Right now, the score is one to one, and let's go on to the very next one. Enjoy. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Akira, Akira Almeida, Akira Meda has won. Um, and we're moving on. The champs are now up to the one. He's going to the next one. He will now be taking on Mr. Muay Thai. This is the fourth bout. Enjoy. <laughs> That was my bad. I should have realized the one with sound wasn't my my creator wrestler because mine don't have no sound. I don't got no theme music playing. They just walk straight to the ring because they're all about business. That was just a joke.
Two, three, four. Job by Mr. Muay Thai. He has tied things up. And that's because that's just the only good dump that's on the game that reminds me a little bit of Muay Thai. So it's it's kind of like a hard push down or whatever. He catches the leg and like in Muay Thai they, they're allowed to when they catch the leg dump you on the ground. And like that's why I gave that like that the knockdown damage. It was gonna be bleed damage, but I was like, you know what? That could be knockdown damage. You know? Cause he catch it took him down or knocked him down or whatever. So that's why that's set up the way that is. Alright. Enough of that. Moving on. One match, two match, three match, four match. I think this is the fifth. Yeah, this is the fifth match. Because there's a six and seven match. Yeah, there's seven matches in total. Yeah. Because with three on three, it's five matches that can be had. And then with four on four, there's seven matches that can be had. All right, so this is the fifth match. Enjoy.
think Inoki is going to be able to submit, you know, you know, Mr. Moita, so he's going to probably have to win this by blood stoppage because he's just down by too many points. And I'm, I forget what round we on, but I think we're on like the third or fourth round now. I don't think this is the second. It's got to be the third or fourth round. So he's going to probably have to win this by blood stoppage. Which he can because he has that fury punch and I know he has that counter headbutt. Both of those do blood stoppage. Because the submission game, I think that would just take a little bit way too long to probably end up doing it in order to do that. But he hasn't made no stupid moves. The only punch I see him really throwing is just that jab. You know, I'm glad to see him throw us that stiff jab. He hasn't been really throwing any of his other, you know, strikes or punches out there. That's the only punch I see him throw. Unless he can counter that spinning back elbow. That's, I think that's the only other right-handed punch he got. His weak punches and then the spinning back elbow. Those are only right arm moves he have, I should say. Back to the match. I should be saying what an impressive showing by fucking um Mr. Muay Thai in this matchup. And I think in his previous matchup as well, man. He is really if you if you watch the beginning of my videos for him and Twicon and Switch Kick or Twicon Bro, well his 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 short his nickname is the champ is champ. And then the short nickname for Taekwondo Next Level Shit is um, Switch Kick. Because Switch Stances and stuff like that. But like, if you take a look at like, AOS Virtual Pro Wrestling Show 1 and 2, and those pay-per-views and stuff like that, these two weren't as good as they are on here. I don't think they started getting this good to like, I think until I got to like sh the show 4A and stuff like that. Then they started to be a little bit more better. And then show 5, I just retuned them and refined them a little bit more. And they got even better. This will be the last match of this video though. We're getting close to that time. Right here. But yeah. I like the fact that I was able to actually improve and make them even better. Oh, he may be able to win by submission. I know it's that the leg was hurting. And his finisher targets the leg too. Yeah. No, I didn't know that move in the corner does that. That kick he just did in the corner does, you know, the what's the name damage, the bleed damage, that particular rolling kick. Well, both rolling kicks do bleed damage. Both running rolling kick, I should say, does bleed damage. The other one is the one that, what, who originated that one? I think it was, um, what's his name? Justin Liger? Yeah, the other one is Justin Liger's move. Where you can do it, you can do that move. He has that move for standing and he has that move as a running attack. I forget which character I had that has that move. I think I took it off for them. I'm not sure. 
All right, let's get back to it. And yeah, I'm only gonna be talking mainly about what's going on with the action and the matches, not extra stuff. I'll say that for short videos in the beginning of videos before I even do matches and stuff. Yeah. All right, enjoy. So a fun little note is that is that he needs to get a takedown or knockdown. A takedown would give him the win just as bad, just as good as a knockdown because a takedown scores one point. But he ain't gonna rope escape no more because he's only has one point left. That's what I love about this game. And some of the Super Nintendo games, one game in particular is called Burning Pro Wrestling something. They, um, it's a Super Nintendo game. Wherever you're near the ropes, you automatically rope escape, which I find to be ridiculous. And then, like, I was, like, doing, like, the, what's the name, the MA style, like, rules with, with a couple matches. And, like, it seems like they won't ever let somebody win by submission. So I just eventually end up stop playing with that game. I only did, like, the S1 type matches, which is the... Uh, Basically, kickboxer rules, but they call it S1. I guess that was before K1. Or there's their the video games version of K1 rules. But you get penalized for doing any type of grabs and stuff on that game. Or try to attempt the ground move. If you're doing grabs, unless it's like a punch strike or something like that. It will like um, penalize you on that game. This has been a good match so far. Uh oh. Could it be over now? This does both bleed and knockdown damage. I see. Nope. He's still living. Does that take him out? Nope, still hasn't. That did. So fuck it. Hey, come on. Like, this motherfucker will not lose to me. Like, ah. Okay, so we're gonna end the V on this. And if we have to use the final two metric, because we now have devastation, who's gonna have to get two wins in a row, but his team did much better this time around, and Nucky wasn't able to get a win this time around, but that's okay, because he did more than enough. My whole thing is like, when it comes to these, these team gauntlet elimination matches, the team gauntlet elimination, is like, is that um, you should either beat your opponent or damage them to the point where like, they're they're more than ready for your teammate to just easily just take them out like that. Like, put your team at an advantage either by getting some eliminations or destroying whoever they put you there in the ring with. You know? That's what I suggest with the game. And that's why I think it's like the best strategy to have as far as like this team, this team competition is for like the faction of three and the combatants. Do as much damage as you can to whoever you're in that ring with or get the elimination. If you can get elimination, it don't matter if the opponent was like weak or something. You got elimination for your team. You put your team ahead. And he did, and that's why I said he did well because Devastation, if he could get this victory quickly, he'll be having perfect help going against the Brawler in the final match. So, Let's, oh yeah, let's end this video right here. Hope you enjoyed the message so far. And the next video will be the final video for this particular title, for this particular match, match number two. We will see if, we will see if the, the challengers will become the new champions or will the, or will the champions be able to send it into a third and final matchup where 
the winner of that will be the new champions. Will they be able to win this match and try to retain their match and retain their titles in the third match, or will it all end right here in this in the next video? You're about to find out in a little bit. Oh, I'm supposed to be saving it right here. My bad. Alright, until the next one later. I'm supposed to end the video, what I meant to say.